Greetings folks, Fuzz here, welcome to another video on Final Fantasy XII and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get as many sight and grats or actually as many of the invisible weapons the strongest weapons in the Zodiac Age as you would like on the PC version of the game so if you want to find out how to do this stay tuned, it's very simple Okay, folks, for the sake of this tutorial, then I'm going to be starting on a clean save file uh, that has absolutely no sight and grats at all. So I can show you from start to finish exactly how to do this. It's very easy. And once you've got it going, you can get as many of these weapons as you want. It doesn't just work for sight and grat, by the way. It works for any chest in the game. And you can get any of the invisible weapons whenever you wish to do so, as long as you can actually physically access the chest or the location of the chest so again this is for the pc version of final fantasy 12 the zodiac age if you're playing on ps4 then i'll leave a link in the video description to my tutorial on how to get sight and grab all the invisible weapons on that version of the game it is a little bit different you have to manipulate the rng but it brings you to the same result you'll 100 get the weapon if you follow that but it's been fixed for the PC release, that RNG manipulation. So that's not possible to do here. But fortunately, using a bit of third-party software, we can accomplish the same result. So thank you to CMAS and Alma over at my live chat stream uh, for bringing this method to my awareness. I appreciate that very much. And CMAS has also made a video on this. So just in case I miss anything, I'll leave a link to his video as well in the description. Alright, so as mentioned, you are going to need to download a small piece of third-party software. As always, guys, if you're following my tutorials, when you download software, you do do so at your own risk. I've not had any problems with using this software, uh, but again, I'm not going to be held responsible, should you. Okay, so with the game running then, it doesn't matter if it's running at this point, but I'm just going to keep it running for the sake of it. We're going to head over to uh, the website where we can download this software. Just bear with me as I bring it up here. And it's CheatEngine.org. I'll leave the link to this down in the video description as well. And we want to download Cheat Engine, whatever the latest version is. At the time of making this video, it's 6.7. And we'll go ahead and download that and get the program installed. One thing I would like to note while we are installing Cheat Engine here is you do get the option to install some bloatware, which you're probably not going to want to do. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and untick this checkbox here. I recommend you do the same as well. And then that's pretty much it. It's very easy to install. So Cheat Engine 6.7 is open. And I know it's going to look complicated, but trust me, just do what I do. And it's really quite simple. There's one more thing we need to do, though, and that's import the table that's going to allow this little cheat to work. So we're going to go over to this website. I'll once again leave a link to this in the video description. And this file, which is the table for Cheat Engine for Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age, is being updated quite regularly by the author. And I'll just give credit to the author here. It's Drummer9. So thank you, Drummer9, for providing this for us. And just go for the top file, which will be the most up-to-date version. In my case, this is version 9.7. So we'll go ahead and save the file here to our computer. With Cheat Engine downloaded then, and with the file downloaded that we've just downloaded the one that ends in .ct we're going to double click that or you can open cheat engine and open the file using this icon and you'll see this description down here final fantasy 12 the zodiac age now the first thing we need to do before clicking this active box is actually loading the game into cheat engine so make sure the game is running in the background here and go ahead and select the process that has final fantasy 12 the zodiac age in its name and then we'll go ahead and click open and then all we need to do is click active here and then click this enable button here and this can take a moment just give it time once it's loaded click the scripts option if you haven't loaded Final Fantasy 12 by the way into the cheat engine program using this icon here then you won't be able to do this so if you can't do this just double check you did load the process correctly and there's numerous options you can play about with, but for the purposes of this walkthrough, there are two that we are interested in. And they are Treasure Chest Always Appear. So the chest that Sight and Grat appears in normally has a 1% spawn chance. This will now make all treasure chests in the game, including this one, 100%. And then the option above it, we're going to select that option. 
and then we're going to select item rarity here and what this is going to do is make items rare items that require the diamond arm it's equipped to always appear when it is equipped and that's it that's all we need to do just make sure you keep this program running once the program is closed these will be turned off by default so this is not a permanent thing but the, once you've looted the weapons or whatever it is you loot they will be permanent but you can turn this on and off uh, whenever you want to use it and what you want to do then in order to access the chest is make your way over to Rabanasta and enter the Aerodome. So you can do this at any point in the game, even very early on, as long as you can access the Aerodome. And you're going to want to fly to Nalbina. And when you get the option, you want to select Leisure Craft. So right now we've got Cheat Engine running. And I have done a fair bit of testing with this. It's worked out quite well. It hasn't crashed the game or anything like that. But I haven't played about with the other options yet. So make sure you make backups of your save. I would recommend doing that just in case anything does go wrong. Before uh, loading Cheat Engine up here. But as I say, I've not had any issues with the software whatsoever. And I'm afraid we'll just have to just skip through some of this dialogue stuff. Okay, and once we've got control of Varn here, the first thing you need to make sure you do is have the diamond armlet equipped. Without it, you cannot loot Sight and Grat. So make sure Varn, and it has to be Varn because he's the only character you can control at this point, has diamond armlet. If you don't have the diamond armlet, it's very simple to get. Just load up trial mode and you can open it in the chest, in one of the two chests in the first trial mode stage so very very easy indeed and with the item equipped we can just run up the stairs here not have to worry about timings or anything like that as we do on the ps4 trick and you'll see the invisible chest is here we can't run past it well we can at the sides but you can feel that it's there and there we have it our sight and grat a lovely powerful weapon i'll just show it to you briefly Massive attack power and decent evade as well. And the good thing about the invisible weapons is they don't require any job in order to equip them. And because the cheat engine is still active, we haven't turned it off at any point. We can literally repeat this as many times as we want by exiting the area and re-entering the area in order to respawn the chest. And it's back. So there's our second sight and grab. Oh, this is... It's sickening, really, isn't it? I think a lot of uh, poor PS4 players are going to be really annoyed with us. I'm only joking, of course. I know not everybody's going to want to do this trick, but I know a lot of you are as well. So I have done this on a backup save file, since I'm not too concerned about having sight and grat in my main playthrough, for those that are watching me on the live stream as well. So I've got three in what? Ten seconds, or about thirty seconds... Having made our way to the location. And I can get all six so that every character can equip one if I want to. In a very short amount of time. And as I said, this works on all of the chests in the game. In particular, the chests that contain these invisible weapons. So that's Sight and Grat, which is here. The Gendarm Shield, a very, very, very nice shield indeed. And also the Great Tango One-Handed Sword. A fantastic tank, uh, tanking sword that you are going to want to get. But guys, let me know what you think of this and how you find this method, if it works smoothly for you. And also let us know as well if you use any of these other options that Cheat Engine provides. I haven't really looked at them myself yet, but I think that's enough sight and grats for one day, so I'm going to leave it there for now. And thanks again to those that have made this particular method available to us and for bringing it to my attention as well you can check the video description for a link if you want to purchase the pc version of final fantasy 12 i'll leave a discount code for you uh, with that as well and that does support my channel so thank you very much uh, plus you get the game cheap as well which is a win-win for us all but that's it for this tutorial guys so thanks for stopping by and i'll see you all next time for more final fantasy 12 cheers all take care